What is up guys, it is RSC6414 here, back with another video, before I turn off my TV. Um, but yeah, back with another video, this time I'm reviewing Smackdown, just finished about five minutes ago. Uh, overall, I gotta say the show was a little disappointing, the two title matches were not very good, I'll tell you why in a sec. We start off the night with Miz TV, Miz, uh, calls, uh, Fandango the ring. And then they just talk, and Miz insults him and says, Fandango's pants look like a bag of Skittles. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I thought, uh, then Wade Barrett comes down, and I think Wade Barrett gets in a brawl with Miz that leads into the Intercontinental Championship match. Wade Barrett being the champ, Miz being the number one contender, I'm guessing. Uh, this match was whatever, uh... Barrett hit the winds of change for near fall, and then Miz tried to hit the try to get Barrett in a figure four lock. When Barrett countered, tossed Miz into the ropes, and Fandango kicked Miz in the head. After Miz knocked down Fandango, and he and Summer Rae were dancing during the match, uh, they were at ringside, and they started dancing in the middle of the match. Miz got mad, kicked him, and then Fandango fought back and kicked Miz in the face when he was thrown th through the ropes. Disqualification, Barrett retained, then they, then, then him and Fonda then Barrett and Fandango start jumping Miz in the ring. Fandango's got his back turned, then Barrett lines up with a bull hammer, hits Fandango with it, knocks out Fandango, and then Barrett walks out with the Intercontinental title, still champion Wade Barrett. Excuse me. I really do like Wade Barrett. Uh, he's one. Uh, I was glad he retained the Intercontinental title. I hope he moves on to bigger, better things. I think he'll lose the title at Payback to whoever he faces. But uh, yeah, and maybe win Money in the Bank. That's just what I think is going to be his future. But then that takes us into our next match. Uh, sorry, somebody messaged me on Facebook, but keep going with this review. Uh, it takes us to our next match, Jack Swagger vs. Daniel Bryan. This match was a really good match. Back and forth, uh, Swagger hit him with a, uh, threw him down on canvas, near fall, a couple near falls. Uh, one time, I think he went, for, he went for the Patriot lock a couple times on Daniel Bryan. Bryan countered a couple, most of the time. Basically every time he countered. Uh, Bryan hit a couple kicks, and then, uh, that was about, then after that, uh, there was a couple near falls, and uh, trying to think, oh, I think he had him in the no lock, and he won the match, Brian did. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, he counters, um, sorry guys, I forgot, uh, counters the swagger bomb, and uh, with it puts his legs up, and then I think he rolls him up, maybe. Uh, yeah, I guess, uh pretty sure that's what happened and then Brian wins sorry guys I forgot what happened for a sec in that match it was a long one and we go next to Sandow and the Damien Sandow in the ring he's in a suit talking about some kind of knot uh Gordian knot if you untie it you become like leader of China or something stupid like that this, this whole segment was just dumb I hated it it was retarded and that was all I'm going to say about it. I'm sorry if I offend anybody by saying retarded, but uh, it was retarded and stupid. Sorry. It just angers me how I want to see some wrestling, not some of this B BS, you know what I mean? But basically, he wins. I mean, Sandow's in the ring with uh, Stryker, says, Can you tie this knot? Stryker can't do it. Then Sandow calls. Then Sheamus comes out. He tries to do it. Sandow takes it out takes the wedge hedge clippers, cuts it, has the knot up, then Sheamus tries to bro kick him, he moves out of the way, and that's basically it, um, the next thing we have, oh yeah, he throws Stryker at Sandow out of the ring, next match we have Big Show vs. Jericho, in my opinion, this was the best match of the night, um, one of them, actually one of the two best matches of the night, this was a pretty good one, um, Jericho tried to get the walls of Jericho and Big Show a lot of the match, and uh, Big Show obviously is too big. Big Show uh, hit with a choke slam one time for a near fall and a spear for a near fall, and um, I want to say that Jericho tried to do a lion salt and he missed. 
it's at the end of the match, they were going at it outside the ring, and then Jericho delivers a code breaker right near the barricade. Big Show pops up, lands on the barricade, rolls over, and by that time, they're already at a six count. Jericho gets in the ring. Big Show gets up and tries to get the ring. There's a ten count. Chris Jericho wins via count out, and then uh, Big Show gets mad, takes a chair into the ring, tries to hit Jericho with it. Jericho counters, kicks him. And then grabs a chair too and hits Big Show with it a couple of times. And Big Show walks and runs up the apron. That's basically it. So Big Show carried Jericho with the win. The next match, or the next promo, I guess, we have is Kurt Axel and Heyman. Axel talks about how good he is. He's, his one match against Triple H was better than his Kurt Hennig and his, un, and his uh, grandfather, Kurt Axel, I think. I don't remember his name. Axel something. Uh, Mr. Perfect Kurt Hennig, and I forget the other guy's name, <laughs> Axel something, I don't know, Kurt Axel maybe. But, uh, yeah, and how they he did better than them combined in their whole career, how that one match is better than anything they've ever done, blah, 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 match it was not very good on Raw, but whatever. That takes us into our next match, Sin Cara and Axel's match is pretty good, there's some Hurricane Ranas. I seen Kara as usual. I think there was a crossbody for a near fall, and uh, he was basically getting McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy counters when Sin Cara jumps off the top rope, delivers a swinging neck breaker. It used to be called the McGillicutter when when he was Kurt Axel was Michael McGillicuddy. I guess it's called the Axel Cutter if you want to call it that. But it was a swinging neck breaker for the one, two, three. Kurt Axel wins, and this match was decent, I guess. That takes us into the main event, or was supposedly another U.S. title match that ends via DQ disqualification. Kofi Kingston, Dean Ambrose. This match has gone on for about three minutes until uh, the Shield interfered. Kofi Kingston uh, kicks Rollins off the ring apron and then does a dive off the top rope off on Reigns, and then they basically just beat him up in the ring, DQ, Ambrose retains, and Sheamus comes out, Orton comes out, three on three tag match, Tay Long says, I actually went to the bathroom during this match, so don't know what happened a ton throughout the match, uh, when I got back, it was towards the end, probably five minutes left on SmackDown, from what I saw, it was good as usual with the Shield, probably some suicide dives, etc., but, uh, yeah, this match was decent, I thought. One of the better matches of the night from what I saw. Sorry, um, I guess when you gotta go, you gotta go. If you know. <laughs> but, uh, Roman Reigns uh, delivers a spear when, uh, Sheamus has Ambrose ready for the white noise. Then, um, everybody gets cleared out, and then that leaves Ambrose and, uh, Kingston left, and then Ambrose grabs Kingston, slams him into the canvas with a signature move. The one, two, three. Shield win again, still undefeated. This match was good, I thought. The show was a little disappointing considering the two title matches ended in disqualifications. I thought at least one would at least have a clean finish, most likely the Barrett Miz match, but they ruined that as well. SmackDown's one of my favorite shows, but they messed this one up with those two title matches that ended in disqualifications. I figured Shield would interfere and it'd be a DQ with Ambrose and Kingston, uh, but Barrett Miz, I thought, would be a clean finish. It wasn't. I guess and Barrett retained, which was cool, and Ambrose, I knew, was going to retain. I like the Shield, so that's straight, too. Uh, uh, overall, great. I give the show, I'd say, a Five, probably six out of ten shows mediocre, not great, not awful. If the title matches had a clean finish, I'd probably give it a seven, but I'd give it a six. So yeah, check out my other videos and subscribe. Thanks, guys.